Japan's new Clear regulators have been discussing how to safeguard power plants against the kind of accident that crippled Fukushima Daiichi. They've drafted an outline of new safety standards for nuclear facilities. Nuclear regulation authority officials are proposing new filtered vents for the power plants. The vents would reduce pressure in the containment vessel and filter contaminated steam. Workers struggled to control the pressure inside the Fukushima reactors after the 2011 tsunami. The watchdog officials are considering a proposal to build standalone facilities to cool damaged reactors. Workers would inject water from a safe distance. The nuclear regulatory body will release a final draft by the end of this month. The proposals will then face a public review. The regulators are expected to announce the new standards by July. People in Japan are urging the operators of nuclear power plants to be more open about the money they give to local governments. NHK has learned operators charged customers over $90 million a year to cover donations to authorities that host their plants. Representatives of nine power companies told NHK how much they've donated to local governments every year since 2008. The companies make those donations out of the fees they charge customers. They hadn't previously revealed how much they were making customers pay. Central government officials told managers at power companies last year to stop charging customers to cover donations. Managers at the Kansai and Tokyo Electric Power Company soon obeyed. Those at other utilities say they are thinking of falling in line. Osaka University professor Tatsu Hatta says he's worried utility managers may try to cover donations with other expenses. He says he wants more transparency. People who live near the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant still worry about radioactivity almost two years after the disaster. No shit. They've heard various plans about how government officials plan to clean up the environment. But two people couldn't wait any longer. They've taken things into their own hands. The equipment looks simple, but it's effective. It's removing radioactivity from contaminated soil. The two inventors came up with the idea while drinking one evening at a local tavern. One is the owner of an electrical equipment company, Hiroyuki Nihei. The other is a former worker at a fuel sales company, Yuichi Furukawa. We can't just rely on the government. We just have to do it ourselves. They both felt worried about the radioactivity in their environment. <laughs> <laughs> Furukawa studied chemistry at college, but neither of them knew anything about decontamination. This was what we started out at the beginning. It's like a toy. They focused on filtering the soil, because that's where most of the radioactive cesium remains. The cesium represented on this chart by the pink dots, bonds tightly with minute particles of clay, shown in brown. They thought that if the soil were dissolved in water and the clay were separated from the larger grains of sand and soil, that would be a good way to remove the cesium in the clay. The problem was finding the right material for using as a filter. Sheets. <laughs> Sheets polyester fabric, materials for handcrafts. We bought so much, we could hardly afford to go out drinking. After trying out numerous materials, Burukawa and Nihei determined that the best filters were housing insulation material and thin strips of hemp fiber. After 10 months of testing, their homemade filtering equipment was finally ready. 
they took 90 kilograms of contaminated soil from Furukawa's yard, mixed it with tap water, and poured the liquid into the filter. The fine particles of clay were trapped inside the filter, along with much of the cesium. This meant there was much less radioactivity in the larger grains of sand and soil left behind. One week later, they got the results of tests on the radiation levels in samples of the filtered soil and water. <laughs> Their equipment reduced the concentration of radioactive cesium by about 90 percent. Even better, no radioactivity was found in the water used in the treatment process. I'm glad we can reduce the radioactivity just by using ordinary material. We were able to put it together on our own. We hope other people will be inspired by what we've done. In the face of adversity, it's all too easy to give up. But the two inventors are sending out the message that ordinary people can come up with creative solutions. Oh my God.